sew the elastic together hello everyone welcome back to another tutorial how you are doing hope you are doing good we're gonna be making a line mazi dress this is what we're gonna be making today with a puffy sleeve so i'm gonna be combining it with the red scuba fabric the upper part will be red scuba fabric why the the damp part will be this exact fabric because the person i'm making it for actually went for this fabric so this is exactly what my clients want she wants exactly the same thing so let's get started and if this is your first time here you're welcome subscribe if you have not done that and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time i upload a new video and you can also join us on our facebook group at cynthia fashion house we will learn together so let's get to it so this is the fabric i'm working with as you can see it's the same thing with the one in the picture so this is the scuba fabric i'm using half meters of scuba fabric this is actually five yards i don't know how many yards i'm going to be using for it so i will let you guys know at the end of this video how many yards i use so i will start with the upper part i've already marked out some lines here from shoulder to upper bust is eight inches plus half inch sewing allowance that is eight and a half inches from shoulder to bust is 11 inches plus half inch sewing allowance that is 11 and a half inches from shoulder to under bust is 14 inches plus half inch sewing allowance 14 and a half inches and the length the upper part is 18 inches i'll be adding one inch for joining it at the bottom and half inches so i'm using roughly 20 inches it's both sewing allowance so i'm making a princess course the upper part is a princess uh, cut so first i will take the shoulder measurement the shoulder measurement is 16 inches divided by 2 which is 8 inches i'm not adding um, sewing allowance to it because the fabric is quite stretchy so i'm taking three and a half inches for the wideness of the neck then i will take three inches for the depth i'll connect the lines together So we come down one inch from the shoulder here so that is the shoulder slope from here I will take my arm hole which is eight inches and I will draw a line here Then the bust palm is 8 inches divided by 2 is 4 inches plus half inch sewing allowance that is 4 and a half inches. I'll mark 4 and a half inches all the way down right from the bust point. So we come to the under bust measurement. I will mark 1 inch and a quarter on each side. One inch and a quarter on this side, and one inch and a quarter on this side. So I will go to the waistline, mark one inch on each side. And I will come down one inch right from the bust line and go one inch above the bust line. I'm going to be connecting them together. I will connect this one inch below the bust line to this one inch and a quarter. Connect this side also. Then I will connect from the under bust to the waistline. So I'll connect this one inch and a quarter to the one inch at the waistline here. So I'll look for the midpoint here. I'll go to the armhole. And look for the midpoint. So I have four inches here. So on these four inches, I'll mark half inch on this side and mark half inch on this side. Then I will connect these to this one inch above the bust line. 
So this one I'll connect it to one inch above the bust line. I connect this half inch and connect this half inch here. I will add one and a half inches here so that the fabric don't get short and after sewing it. I will extend it. So we go ahead and place the circumference measurement. The bustle measurement is 41 inches divided by 4 is 10 and a quarter. Then this is my 10 and a quarter. This is a stretchy fabric. I don't suppose to add um, sewing allowance to it. But to be on the safer side, I will add 1 inch for sewing allowance. So the waistline is actually 36 inches divided by 4 is um, 9 inches. The under bust measurement is 34 inches. So I'll be using 9 inches for, I'll be using the waist measurement for the upper to the, the other side. I'll mark my 9 inches here. Remember I marked out 2.5 inches here. So I'll be cutting these 2.5 inches out. I'm going to be adding these 2.5 inches to this place because I'm cutting it out then I'll mark my two and a half inches here so I will take it to the waistline so I will take the from the chest line to the underboss from underboss to the to the waistline before I cut it out let me show you connect here I'm cutting it out uh, finish cutting it and you open it up look something like this so I'll set this aside and cut out the back side so this is the back side my fabric is folded into two I use the post measurement that's the biggest part of the body to cut the fabric out and I added some allowance to it. This line here, this is 2 inches. This is for zipper allowance. So this here is the chest line and uh, this is the post line and this is the waist line. I'm going to be placing the measurement. The shoulder measurement is 16 inches divided by 2 which is 8 inches. And then uh, for the back neckline I'm taking still on 3 and a half inches here. I will take three and a half inches on here, and here I'm taking two inches for the depth. So I'll connect the lines. From here I will come down one inch for the shoulder slope. I will take my arm hole, eight inches. So that's not the chest. So this armhole is the chest line. I'll make a straight line here. I will take the boss palm four and a half inches plus sewing allowance. I will mark it all the way down. Up to the waist. That is the half length, the waist measurement. So I'll come to the waistline, I'll take half inch for, I'm just making it that for the back side. So I'll take half inch on this side, go to the waistline, take half inch on this side, and then take half inch on the other side. So I'll just come down one inch from the bust line here, and I'll connect it. Connect it from here to the half inches, and then connect this to the half inches at the waistline. So I'll place the circumference measurement. So I'll start taking the measurement right from here because this is zipper allowance and this is not included. Then I I'll mark my 10 inches plus 1 inch sewing allowance because it's a stretchy fabric. Normally I don't supposed to add sewing allowance to it but just to be on the safer side I'll add 1 inch sewing allowance. Is, um, the waist measurement is 36 inches divided by 4 is 9 inches. Then I'll add 1 inch for that, that is 10 inches. Then I'll add 1 inch for sewing allowance, that is 11 inches. So I'll mark my 11 inches here. So I'll connect it right from the chest line to the waist line. So 
I'll mark half inch away from here. So I look for the midpoint and connect it. So I'll go ahead and cut it out now. I'll make a notch here so that I'll recognize where I marked my dart. Now I'll set this aside. We're cutting out the damp part now. I'm folding my fabric into two. After folding into two, I'm making the damp part about 25 inches. And we extend it right from the knee to this damp part here. So we'll place the measurement now. So the full length of the dress is 63 inches. 63 minus 18 inches, that is the upper part. And I'll be left with 45 inches. So I'll add one inch for sewing allowance, that is 46 inches. So right from here, I'll take my 46 inches. This is 46 inches, so I'm cutting it right from here. From waist to hip is 9 inches plus half inch sewing allowance, that is 9.5 inches. So I mark my 9.5 inches here. From waist to knee is 19 inches. So this is where I will extend it to the other side, the A line we start from. So I'm placing the circumference measurement. The waist measurement is 36 inches divided by 4 is 9 inches. So I mark my 9 inches and I'm adding 2 inches for sewing allowance. That is 11 inches. Plus 1 inch for that. That is a 12 inches. So I will come to the hip line. The hip measurement is 42 inches. 42 divided by 4 is 10 and half. So I mark 10 and half plus 2 inches sewing allowance. That is 12 and half inches. I'll connect it right from the waist to the hip. So I will go to the knee side. I'm making it right from where the flare will start. I'm making it 19 inches right from the waistline. I will measure the hip measurement. The hip measurement here is 12 and a half inches. So for the knee, I want it to be a little bit curvy. I will minus one and a half inches from the hip line. So the hip is 12 and a half inches. Then here I will make it 11 inches. Depending on how curvy you want it to be or your client wants it to be. So I, I'm marking 11 inches. I'm taking away one and a half inches right from the hip. From the hip measurement then I'll bring it from the hip to the knee so right from this knee here I will extend it to this side to the end now we extend it to the end of the fabric 25 inches on fold when you open it up you will have 50 inches so I'm cutting this out So this is the front one so I'm gonna be using this to cut out the back one it's just the same process the only difference is that I will add two inches to the back side for zipper allowance I'll still lay my fabric on the table lay this against the fabric and use it to cut the back side then I will add two inches for zipper allowance at the back here I'll cut the lining as well so I've cut out the back one this is the back one and this is the front one this here is the two inches I added to the back side for zipper allowance so I'm gonna set this aside we we'll go ahead and cut the sleeve I will fold my fabric like a like a triangle it's folded like a triangle I'm making the sleeve line 26 inches but usually it's 23 inches I'm gonna be adding 3 inches to it so by the time you add the elastic to it it's gonna bounce up so I'll place the sleeve length so this is 9 inches so I'll look for the midpoint 4.5 inches then I'll come down by 4 inches and I'll take it like so, take it to me this 4 inches and curve it to this side. So my sleeve length, right from here I'll take my sleeve length. 
26 inches so I'll take the 26 inches round I have to make sure this place is up to 30 inches yeah this is 29 inches the bottom side here is 29 inches so I will just take it right from here take 26 inches round So I'm cutting it out now. So I finished cutting out the sleeve. I'll cut out two of these. I uh, will use this to cut out the other one. So we are done with the cutting. What we are going to do next is to put the whole fabric together. I will start with the upper part. For the back one, I'm going to take my dart. I will pin the dart so I will sew the back dart and for the front one I'm going to join them together I will sew it right from the bottom to this end I will do the same thing on this side I have sewn the dart and I have joined the side together I have joined the front side together I am going to be making a hat, a just small hat here so we cut out, I will use my stain, my interfacing to cut it out. I just eyeball it. And this is too small, I'm cutting out another bigger one. Yeah, this is perfect. This is perfect. So I'm going to place this on top of a different fabric. So I will place this on top of another fabric. So I will sew this around to the fabric before I will place it and use it to cut this other one out. When I iron the interface into this other fabric. Then I make sure I tidy up the edges here. Then I sew it. On this place here so this is the midpoint I make sure I place it where I sew it around to the fabric the purpose of this interfacing and the fabric is to use it to turn this place to turn the, this round circle here so what I'm going to do is to make a cut here so I'm cutting this I'll cut it very close to the place I stitch After cutting this place, so I'll make a cut around. So I'll turn this inside. I'll make sure I iron it inside. First I'll pin it, then I'll use the pressing iron too. Iron it inside. I'll use the pressing iron to iron it very well. So that's for this. We're going to be joining the upper part to the down part. I cut the line in the same way I cut out the fabric and I sew them together. So I'm going to be joining the upper part to the down part. So we make sure the right side are facing each other.
So we join them together here. This is the front one. I'll do the same thing to the back panel. Remember the back panel is splitted into two because of zipper allowance. So we still sew the back sides together. So I'll finish joining the upper parts to the down part. This is the front and this is the back. So next is for us to attach the zip to the back side. So this is how long my zip is. I will sew the remaining side. So I will take my zipper allowance and attach my zip to the back side. Now we turn this side also. After attaching the zip, my zip is up to this place. Then I will sew the remaining parts. After I've done that, I will lay the front and back against each other. So I will take the bust measurement. Mark the 20 inches. Now go to the waistline, place the exact waist measurement, that is 18 inches, I'll mark it, do the same thing to the hip line, 21 inches, so I'll mark it and then take it all the way down, so we sew the shoulders and sew the both sides, so guys I finished joining the both sides together now. And I've also attached this to the back side. I didn't add that to the damp part again, though I added a, that um, allowance to it. I remembered she asked me not to add that to the damp part, so it is not that here. We're going to be attaching the sleeve to the dress. So this is the, the sleeve I cut out. This is the upper part. I'll sew the side of the sleeve. Now fold it inside one and a half inch and take a quarter of an inch and sew it round. Sew it round. After sewing it round, I left one and a half inches unsewed here. This is where my elastic will go through. So this is the elastic I'm gonna be using. If you're doing it to you measure your elastic. My elastic is half inch, so I sew it and I know that this is wider than the elastic make sure this side is wide enough to accommodate your elastic and for the elastic I'm gonna be taking about seven inches her own sleeve is eight inches so I'm gonna minus one inch from the eight inches I'll be taking seven inches so I'm gonna take a safety pin and uh, insert my elastic As you're drawing it, you make sure this side, this other side is secured. So it came out through the other side. I will use a zigzag stitch and I will sew back this one and a half inches I left on sewed. I will turn my dress to the wrong side. So I will tuck my sleeve inside. So I will match the side seam together, the sleeve side seam and the dress side seam. And I will pin them round. I will go ahead and sew it round to the dress. I will do exactly what I did to this side, to the other side. So guys, I finished attaching the sleeve to the dress. So I added some stones to this open place. So this is the sleeve. This is the palm part.
This is the back side. So I won't be putting on this clothes because it's not mine, it's for a client. So this is the end of this tutorial. If you like my video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. You can join us on our Facebook group at Cynthia's Fashion House. I'll see you guys on my next one. I love you all.